Earth observation data are becoming too large to be downloaded for analysis. Also, the way they are organized as files that represent only a small part of the Earth and a single observation date makes it unnecessarily complicated to analyze them. The solution? Store the data in the cloud, process it there, and browse the results or download resulting figures or data, which are usually much smaller. But what if you want to apply your workflow to a data set that is not available on your current cloud platform? You'd have to translate your workflow. So the new cloud platform understands it. Maybe even have to learn a new programming language, a tedious task, given the number of cloud platforms available. That is why OpenEO was born. OpenEO uses an open API that connects clients like R, Python, and JavaScript to big Earth observation cloud backends in a simple and unified way. With such an API, each client can work with every cloud platform that supports it, and it becomes possible to compare backends in terms of capacity, cost, and results, which simplifies validation and fosters reproducibility. An API is an application programming interface. It defines a language that two computers, a client and a server, use to communicate. OpenEO defines a set of commonly used EO processes, for example, aggregate spatial, for extracting summaries of raster values within areas of interest. A backend has to adhere to that standard and understand it, so that OpenEO clients can be used. The same is true for clients that let users create their open EO workflows. Here's an example of open EO in action. In the initial open EO project, we compared multiple cloud platforms using the open EO API. We sent the same processing graph to each platform. In this example, we calculate the enhanced vegetation index using Sentinel-2 data and then take the minimum EVI value over time. As you see, the same set of commands produce results on each backend without changing the code, and the results are identical.